What's going on, Pika fans? It's your boy, Mango here. Mango can tangle, that is. Back with another video. And today, we're going to be doing the water abilities ranked on a tier list. Now, pretty much I set up a tier list maker on the left side, and then on the right side I have all the cards and all the abilities. So let's get on into it. Let's start ranking these water, water types, dude. Let's do it. Alright, so the first card we have is Divine. Um, heal this Pikachu by the damage this card inflicts if changed with, chained with another two same cards. Now, it's going to heal you, does decent damage, got 85, 60 shield. So, I mean, any heal card I think is relatively good. Um, you just have two other, I think, water cards with it. So if you're running a three pure plus, um, I think it's a pretty good card. Uh, I mean, 85 heal is really good, so I'm going to put this in A. Put that in A. All right. So we have Holy Light here. It's the next win card. Gain one anger when this Pikachu's shield breaks. Um, anger is actually good, and I didn't realize this, and I might have to redo uh, the grass abilities because I, I learned that anger actually, when you gain it, uh, you want to gain anger because it gives you a free critical strike if you get five anger. So um, anger is a good thing, um, and when it breaks so you you have 80 shield here the chances of you getting attacked by something that's going to be more than 80 is high depending on um but this might be like a kind of a solo card you play this by itself that's your one energy for the turn and you hope that your shield breaks and then you gain an anger um but i don't think this is a bad card at all 70 damage 80 shield um at least b might go to a um definitely at least high b i'd say um maybe even an a but we'll check um, call offense. Again, cost zero to, call, to cast, which is really nice. Apply speed to this Pikachu for one round and gain one anger if this Pikachu is reserved. This goes on a this goes on a reserved Pikachu. Period. This is an amazing card. Zero, 110 damage, 20 shield S. Like, can we? We don't even have to really talk about it, really. I mean, I mean, come on. It doesn't even cost me anything. It's on my reserve. Um, amazing water card. I mean, you get A speed and B anger like how is that even possible and it doesn't cost anything what come on s tier like let's be let's be real here all right moving on to black flame um or bouncy bubble uh remove all anger of this pikachu and heal this pikachu 20 hp for each anger removed now that if, if it has high anger if you're, you get anger i think after every single attack so it's like it kind of racks up over time so you're getting this anger meter and it's it's keep going and going and going now you're gonna it's up to four or five you can have your because you're up to healed up to 100 hp if you let it go go right before you're about to get that critical strike um but i probably do it'd probably be more realistic about the 80 60 range even 40 but um you're gonna heal 20 hp for each time you remove this so th this counter counteracts so you don't get a critical hit but instead of getting a critical hit you're healing yourself hmm uh hard i'm gonna have to put it in a i think i really don't think any of the wing cards for the water types are bad really to be honest with you i really don't any of those are relatively good so those are the wings for water uh, here we go let's move on down to uh, i think it's yep we're into uh sword now all right so looking at the sword cards uh here we go so auction hammer deal 120 percent damage if the speaker's hp is below 50 percent now 120 you do some calculations 10 percent is 11 so you're looking at 22 extra damage on 110 so this is going to do 132 damage total if you're in, in critical danger here um that's a lot of damage it has decent shield i mean as you can see it has the best shield out of all of the sword cards i'm gonna have to put this card in at least a it's a really good card i mean and, and honestly, it doesn't ask for much. I mean, below 50%, I mean, that, that happens at least half the time if you think about it, right? If it's about to die, you can at least use it maybe once or twice. So I don't think it's a bad card at all and does decent damage. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, Cat Claw Staff. Deal 100. Uh, it does 120. Has a 30 shield. Heal this Pikachu for the damage this card inflicts. This card kills the target. Now, again, yes. Does it heal 120? Yes, but again... You have only like three or four opportunities to actually kill the target. And sometimes you don't kill it when you think you're going to. So, for example, they should they could add additional shield when you think it's going to die. It could be at 80 and you're like, oh, it's going to die. I'm going to get 120 HP. And then they rack it with 70, 70, 80, 90 shield and it doesn't die. So, I don't think Cat Claw Staff is the greatest card. I don't think it's bad. But I'm going to have to put Cat Claw Staff in the B tier. I don't think it's as good as some of the other ones. Um... 
Moving on to Meteor Hammer, one of the sword cards, or Hydro Cannon. Uh, this strike ignores the shield if the target is a reserve. You put this on a reserve card, it's going to do 100 damage no matter what. Doesn't have shield. Not bad. Honestly, it, I don't think it's a bad card. I don't think it's a great card, mainly because also it has no shield. So, But it doesn't... I mean, it is if you, you rank something with shield. Uh, you're putting a ton of shield on something, it just still hits you 100 damage. Uh, I don't know. Probably high B... High B, um, in my opinion. High B. I don't really think it's an A card. Probably high B. Scepter. Heal this Pikachu by the damage this card inflicts. 90 damage, 30 shield. No other conditions. Just straight up heals you. It's going to heal you regardless. Yep, yep. You just deal it. You cast it. You heal yourself 90. Scepter is by, by far the best sword card, in my opinion. Definitely S tier. All right. So, moving on. We have the antler cards coming up, which is like the little hats that they have. So that's why I saw a couple of you were asking me, oh, why does this Pikachu have a crown on it? The crown is basically like what the antlers are. So like that's what they wear. That's, the, these, these things that like the ice cream cone, you've probably seen these in the shot. The garbage can, uh, the little corn. That's what they, the, these number, the names of these cards on the top anyway. Um, like like Pattaya, I don't know what Pattaya is, but ice cream, uh, garbage can. That's what they look like. That's the body part and that's the card or the ability that, that relates to it. So that's how that works. Um, so the antlers is, uh, Pattaya's first, Razor Shell, add 30% to this Pikachu shield when attacking. Um, you know, 50 damage, 80 shield, 30% is a lot, um, it's over 100, so you're, you're, 10% eight, is 8, multiply that by 3, that's 24, so you got 104 shield on this, um, that's a lot of shield, but it only does 50 damage, um, so, I mean, it's not bad, again, I'd probably put in B, not a bad card, not super great, um, but still good. Uh, ice cream. Um, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Increases ten percent damage for each card of the different class played by the speaker this round. So this is not horrible. I mean, it does a hundred damage, thirty shield. I mean, doesn't have to do the highest damage. Has okay shield. I mean, thirty shield is eh. Um, but it does increase 10 damage, but I, again, you have to play anything that's not water. So if you're running a Pikachu that has more pureness, this is not going to do as much damage. Um, probably bottom is B. Uh, almost C, really. I mean, probably either, w either, either way. I'll probably put a bottom of B for right now. Um, maybe move it to C, depending on what we, we, we found out. But again, 100 damage is good, but not greatest. And 30 shields, all right. Um, especially with, with the condition it has here. Heal this Pikachu by the damage this card inflicts when this card critically strikes. Again, garbage can. Uh, this is just like Cat Car This is the just like Cat Claw Staff. Um, you're killing the target. This is when it critically strikes. So if you're, if it's about to hit that meter, that rage meter, this is a good time to ca cast it. It's a little bit more reliable than Cat Claw Staff. So again, I'm probably gonna have to put this at bottom of B. Um, I might have to rearrange the, a couple of these bottom B cards into the C tier because I don't want to put too many of them in the B. Um, but that's where that's going to go for right now. Um, it's a good card. It's better than. It's definitely better than um, Cat Claw Staff. So Cat Claw Staff would be down here. But uh, it, it does 120, and it, it, I think Critical is, is more um, reliable than killing the target. So I, I think that's a little better. 120 damage is good though. Um, moving on. So Corn. Uh, 90 damage, 30 shield. Heal this Pikachu by the damage this card inflicts if this Pikachu is a reserve. Again, now this card's a little bit more reliable. Um, you can run this on a reserve Pikachu. Uh, this would be actually an amazing combo with Colophons because you, 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 you throw it on a reserve, throw this on a reserve. Now you're healing this thing like crazy. Colophons, corn combo, bang. Hashtag trending. Call it a day. Um, I really think that this is a good card. I think it has some potential. I really overlooked this one when I was originally thinking at it, I think. Um, but... 90 damage, you're going to heal it for 90, so that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to put this probably in A. I'm going to put corn in A. Um, moving on. Only got four left. I messed up here. That's an extra card. Oopsie. Um, so we have the tail cards left. We have red carp, conch shell, lobster tail, and white fox tail. Um, red carp. Apply speed to the speaker for two rounds if combined with another water card. Um... Again, speed is huge on these water types. I don't know if I've talked about this yet. I mean, I have in other past videos, but water types and electric types are your fastest type of pieces. Pikasters, you want to keep them as fast as possible. You want to make them fast. That's the purpose of them, so that they can attack first. That's how it works. Uh, whoever has the fastest speed is, is the determinant of who attacks. You want to be fast. You want to be faster than the other target. You want to attack first. You want to do the most damage. So red carp is definitely going to have to be an S tier.
red carp is, is your go-to i would say i think that is a very good combo for that um i enjoy red carp a lot um conch shell 20 damage zero shield game one energy if combined with another card zero zero now again this does zero so it's not bad you're not doing any damage so you're just getting pretty much a free energy uh set yourself up for the next turn um and yeah you know i was gonna put it low b but honestly i'll probably put it in c um i do like it though it does give you a free energy but again compared to some of these other cards it's just not there um it's just not there so i'm gonna have to put uh conch shell and c and i'm actually gonna move cat claw down here as well um all right cool lobster tail deal 120 percent damage to this pikachu attacks first again great card you want why why again you are trying to make this peekster fast. So if it's faster than most most targets, you have that 68 speed. This is doing 120 damage every time. Always. So you're actually doing um, 120 with 40 shield for a tail card, which is a decent. I mean, that's really, really decent. I have to put lobster tail in A. A tier it is. There, there it goes. Um, white fox tail. I mean, target the highest enemy anger enemy. I don't see the utility. I don't. I. Sorry, white white foxtail. You're just a trash card. Like simply, just not good. I don't know why it's there. Thirty damage, no shield. Why would I want to target the enemy with the highest anger? I'm not really sure. I mean, maybe if you're specifically trying to kill that one, but I just don't see the purpose of it. Really, I'm not seeing the whole utility with it. So, not my favorite card. Just not seeing it. So to do a little overview, that will be all the cards. Again, this is a mess up. So we'll go over here, click on this, make sure we're zooming in here. So to go over, S tier is going to be um, Colophons, Scepter, and Red Carp. Um, those are your best three cards, I think, in the water category. Um, and then to go to the, um, I don't think there's any over here, so that's good. Um, to go to A, it's going to be Divine. What's that? Black Flame, I think. Um, Auction Hammer, Corn, and then Lobster Tail. So these are going to be those, but again, all the names of these are here. Origin Pulse, Bouncy Bubble, Brine, Whirlpool. These are all good. A cards, very good. Use these. They'll have some utility. Definitely uh, better than some of the other cards. Um, so let's go down to B. Got Meteor Hammer, Holy Light, um, Razor Shell. I think that's Ice Cream, I believe. Garbage Can. Oh, no, Ice Cream's right there. Sorry. So that's uh, Pattaya, actually. Sorry. Um, garbage Can and Ice Cream. That's your, Those are your B cards. Again, I don't think these... Uh, I would use these three rows. Just stay away from these, really. Um, B is not as good as A, and A is not as good as S. But again, a lot of these cards are very balanced. Uh, 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 very different than Axie. I don't know if you played Axie, but a lot of the cards are really OP in Axie, and you can if you don't have them, you're just not going to have a fighting chance. So I think, the, I think it's very balanced, the gameplay, and I just think ca some cards are slightly better than others. Um, C tier is Cat Claw Staff and, and um, Conch Shell, but again, Conch Shell can be B. I mean, even S, it doesn't really matter. It's giving you a free energy, and it does 20 damage, but it just takes up one of your card spaces, that's all. Um, and just never use White Fox Tail, please. Do me a huge favor, just don't do it. If you have it, get rid of it. You don't want it. Trust me. All right, so that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for coming. Appreciate it. Um, hope you enjoyed my um, little insight on the water abilities. Please feel free to give me a like, a sub. You guys are the best. Love y'all. You mean you mean everything to me. Peace.